right, good morning, everyone. Thank you all for joining us. And uh, we're going to take the next couple minutes to talk about how ArcGIS Indoors is providing context for workplace decision making. Uh, I'm here with my colleague, Pat Wallace, who has been integral to the development of ArcGIS Indoors, and he's going to eventually give us a demo. But before we do that, uh, we want to give you some context for uh, context. And since most of you probably have somewhere in mind when we say the workplace, we just kind of want to get a sense for where that is. So raise your hand if you think of an office complex. Okay, good number. Uh, what about an airport? Do you think of an airport as a workplace? Okay, a few of you. Uh, university campuses? Okay, wow, there's quite a few people from universities here, I guess. Um, so that's great. We have a diversity of these workplaces represented he here in the audience today. And these are all places that work gets done. So uh, workplaces are really microcosms of what make our regions and our cities so dynamic, right? It's thousands of people uh, trying to find access to the right resources in order to get their work done. Um, however, when it comes to the workplace, uh, their design constraints typically come in the form of standard operating procedures. And the time to act and make a decision and execute the decision-making process is significantly reduced when compared to the decision-making process across a regional or city scale. So, why do we need context for workplace decisions? Workplace decisions drive organizational achievement. Uh, and workplace decision makers are constantly setting objectives and allocating the right resources to make sure that they're achievable and ultimately delivering value to their organizations. The value that they deliver is the proper allocation of these fundamental resources to uh, actually achieve organizational objectives, right? So, Resources like personnel, workspace, information technology assets, uh, in order to achieve objectives in lines of production or customer satisfaction or uh, general business continuity. And the design process uh, or the decision making process at this scale is very similar to the geo design process that you all are probably very familiar with already. Right? It starts with understanding the situation evaluating possible actions that could be taken, and then inevitably taking action and monitoring the results of that action in order to be better informed for future decisions. And that's why we're building ArcGIS Indoors. ArcGIS Indoors it provides these workplace decision makers with a common operating picture to evaluate real-time information in the context of the workplace in order to make rapid, intelligent decisions. Now, I'm going to turn it over to Pat Wallace, who's going to walk you through what this decision-making process could look like at a workplace. All right. Thanks, Bo. I'm Pat Wallace. I lead our uh, indoors practice, and I've got a few things I want to cover with you today. Um, so, uh, so first, uh, let's consider a, a security scenario. Um, there could be a, a lot of different scenarios. Um, and let's say uh, somebody reports a suspicious character near the uh, auditorium door. We have many doors here. Um, and uh, we can report on it with our indoors application, uh, evaluate the resources at our disposal uh, in order to um, utilize the appropriate resources and contain the situation at hand, and ensure that uh, current operations, this demonstration, uh, proceed as planned. So first, I'm going to open up uh, our indoors uh, mobile application we have an iOS and a native Android application. We can see here, uh, we have my blue dot, uh, we already have uh, indoor positioning enabled. Um, so, uh, you know, so let's imagine a suspicious character uh, at the door uh, up here. Um, all I would need to do is open up my application. It would focus on my current location. And then I would select this, uh, you know, this exit, right? If I wanted to find out more information about it or things related to it, it would all be right here uh, at my disposal. Uh, but in this particular case, and for the sake of time, I'm just going to report on this particular problem. And uh, we have a direct link 
uh, to uh, Survey 123, and we, in this context, we can call it our Indoors 311 service. Um, so no, this is not a room inspection. It's really a safety-related matter. Uh, I could say that it's a uh, high, and uh, you know, I could just say suspicious character. All right, so uh, I could take some pictures. And then uh, one of the cool things here is I can see that uh, the indoor location intelligence is already built in uh, to this particular trouble ticket. So I can submit that, right? Um, so next I want to show you our, uh, our web application, right? So it is uh, floorware. Uh, it's 2D and 3D, uh, you know, depending on how you want to see your indoor environment. And uh, first, I want to review the main functions so the rest of this demonstration makes sense. Um, if I know exactly what I want to look for, I just type it in, right? So I could uh, type in uh, Bo Rick. Uh, if you had an issue with his part of the presentation, here's where he sits. And we could generate uh, directions uh, directly to his office uh, from, uh, from our current location, which I tried to find the closest room. Hopefully, my future office is not a storage room. Um, but, uh, but if it were, um, that's uh, the path I would take to get to his office. So you can see the delta and the graphic visualization between one level and the other, just in, in terms of continuing the, the theme of uh, floor awareness. And like with any uh, ESRI uh, uh, routing uh, analyses, you can uh, follow each leg of the route. Um, so I'm going to clear that out, and I'm going to close this function. Now, if I didn't know, uh, really what I was looking for, and this is especially the case if you're a visitor, um, you might go through what we call this uh, explore functionality. So I could uh, look at all the different things in my workplace environment. Uh, you, know, you know, maybe I'd run to a breakout conference room. I don't know why I'd do that with a suspicious character. I'm probably going to be more interested in what safety and security equipment uh, is at my disposal. So, uh, you know, I'm not really sure. You know, maybe a fire extinguisher, I could threaten the suspicious character. So I'm going to look for the, uh, uh, the closest uh, fire extinguisher, for example. And uh, you know, what it's going to do is it's going to, uh, man, apparently there's not any fire extinguishers in building uh, Q. No, Jack, this is just a demo data set. Don't worry about it. We have fire extinguishers in building Q. So if I, if I did want to find the, uh, the, the most proximate a uh, piece of safety equipment, I just jump on it, get it, send the appropriate resource uh, to that location. Um, now, notice that when, once I found things, I get similar actions that I had in the mobile application. So I can find things, I can find information out about these things. Uh, one, of the, one of the great things, I, I think, in terms of sharing this common uh, operating picture is, uh, let's just say I'm going to copy this to the clipboard, uh, and I just want to show you this uh, functionality. So. Um, that is not control V. So there we go. So I'm going to paste this in. Uh, and this is pretty cool, right? So I'm sharing a particular view with somebody, right? And I can uh, you know, provide any other uh, information that I want about taking action, right? Making that choice, taking action, uh, keeping operations uh, running. Uh, again, uh, like Bo said, we shrunk down to the, the site scale, even going indoors, and the duration, right, has, uh, uh, you know, it, it's not as big as before. We're focusing on, on days, uh, hours, seconds, potentially. Um, and then, again, like in the mobile application, I can just start digging uh, into all the data, you know, see all the things connected to it, uh, et cetera. So I'll close that out. Oh, by the way, uh, 3D as well, right? So. And you know, it really depends on you know, what, what exactly you're doing, right? So sometimes 2D is better, sometimes 3D is better. Um, so I can hover over, uh, dive into these, uh, these different buildings, uh, pull up information about it, just like in, uh, in 2D, um, right? So here's the auditorium. And uh, one, one other uh, function I want to show you before I get through the rest of my scenario here is, uh, you know, uh, events, right? So these are uh, different events that occur. So these are types of points of interest uh, that we were kind of exploring in the, uh, the events uh, um, uh, component. And so I could just, you know, pull up these different events, add it to my calendar, uh, and so on. And so if I add it to my calendar, it shows up on my mobile app, and then we have this virtuous cycle of staying up to date 
not with just ourselves, but with our colleagues. Um, so I'm going to close this out, and I'm going to hop over to a different version of the same application. And you can see here, uh, okay, this is where I was sitting earlier, right? And uh, here's where I'm sitting now. And uh, we can see you know, where, where I had uh, you know, traversed uh, throughout the day. And you can probably see, uh, you know, if you, if you could look at uh, the points, you'd see me hurrying up. Oh, yeah, see how they're spaced apart, right? Because Pat's hurrying up over to the auditorium, so I'm not late. Um, but uh, so in, in terms of, uh, you know, what do we do with that trouble ticket, right? Um, where does it go? Well, it shows up back in another part of the, uh, the ArcGIS system. I can see here that, uh, you know, a work order, uh, or a trouble ticket was assigned, um, uh, safety equipment, uh, weird dude wearing a hat at the auditorium. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta take care of that. And, and this same underlying service that was generated by indoors with the, the indoors location intelligence assigned to it, um, you know, can be wired up with the rest of the ArcGIS system. I mean, that's what indoors is about. It's about utilizing, leveraging all of ArcGIS. And so now I can actually make an assignment. I'm going to turn Bo from a presenter into a uh, my reaction, quick reaction force, Bo, so get ready. Um, so I can assign this uh, ticket to you, uh, give you some direction uh, to proceed. And, uh, you know, and then uh, in, in terms of, uh, you know, monitoring the event, you could imagine me back at uh, Command Central. I can take that same information uh, and, and put it inside of an operations dashboard and, you know, could have different triggers set up uh, so that, you know, I could, you know, push notifications out to appropriate team members. So it works with the rest of ArcGIS. And uh, the important thing here is I better finish up talking or my battery life is going to run out in my phone. So then I won't be able to finish the presentation. Um, but, uh, you know, ArcGIS indoors, uh, it's a complete system. It works on mobile, it works in the web, uh, it works with real-time information. Uh, not only can, you know, I, uh, you know, look for things that are of interest to me, um, like I was showing earlier, like uh, the auditorium, uh, and figure out what equipment is uh, proximate to me. I can share those same views uh, with the rest of my workforce to make sure that uh, we can continue to do the things uh, that we need to do, uh, you know, in the context of our workplace environment. And so that's all that I have. Great. Thank you. Thanks, Pat. <laughs> awesome. So I think uh, the important things to take away from that is that, you know, ArcGIS Indoors is this complete system. It's, it's meant for maintaining business operations, right? Whether it's trying to find information on a mobile application or in a web application, um, the decision-making process is ingrained in the, the operations of a workplace. And the information that is being shared and stored in ArcGIS Indoors is ultimately supporting that decision-making process. Um, so I think that that's a, a really great demonstration. I really appreciate that, Pat. Um, we do have some opportunities to learn more about ArcGIS Indoors while you're here on campus. So we have some folks set up out in the uh, uh, lobby area where you can meet with them to talk about ArcGIS Indoors. You can also uh, go to go.esri.com backslash indoors to sign up to learn more about it indoors, as well as follow us on uh, Twitter and other social medias at ArcGIS Indoors. Uh, with that, thank you for coming. We really appreciate it. Thank you.